it's inevitable that every newborn needs the presence of their mother whether the mother needs to be there in order to nurture this baby in order to grow this baby with warmth and care that they require in order for them to grow and to develop um, when i think about this it helps me understand one thing that as a believer we need to be present in the presence of god scripture says that in him we live and move and we have our being i'll repeat that again in acts chapter 17 verse 28 it says that in him i love the word in in him we live and move and we have our being that means that we have the ability to carry that we carry the presence of god because god is in us and we are in him we carry God everywhere that we go. As believers also, he's given us the opportunity to be aware of our environment, depending on the realm that we are in, whether it's a spiritual realm, the physical realm, he's given us a spirit of discernment in order for us to discern the environment that we are in, the places that we are in. Yet again, I'm also reminded in this in scripture, um, in Genesis chapter three, that in order for us to be present in the presence of God, we need to be naked, we need to be bare before him. You find that Adam and Eve, when they had sinned and God had appeared to them in the Garden of Eden, they hid from his presence because they were no longer naked, they were no longer bare before him. And this also brings us home that are you naked and bare before God? Have you surrendered your life before him? Have you held on to some things and you're saying that um, I'm giving God this part of me, I'm giving God this part of my life, but there's a certain part of my life that I still need to hold on to because I'm not very sure whether I can still trust him with that which he has given me or trust him as my father well i'm here to encourage you and to let you know that whenever you are present in the presence of god his atmosphere you become aware of who he is you become aware of his goodness of his faithfulness you become much more discerning and god i believe that those want us to just be aware of him in the morning you know when you wake up and you give you you say a prayer or in the evening when you're saying a prayer but throughout your day are you walking with god throughout your day are you conversing with god throughout your day are you listening to what god is saying are you talking are you having conversations with god this is what he desires for us to do as his children i began by saying and giving an illustration that a newborn needs the presence of their mother and in the same way as believers we are newborns you know we are new creatures he says that we are new in him and as we are new in him we are his children and because we are his children and he is our father then we need to understand that and as much as he is everywhere that he is omnipotent omnipresent um, we also need to be aware of this fact that god is actually there that god is around us and once we are aware and present in his presence then we are able to identify the things that the little things that god does in our lives you know these things don't end up passing us but we become we become conscious of who he is and who he is in our lives so i pray that um one of the things that will help you be present in the presence of god is if you are naked and bare before him and you cannot do that if you do not worship him you know if you do not surrender your life unto him um, i pray that this message is going to be evident in your life that you will learn how to be present in the presence of god thank you so much for watching sit down church online please engage with us on our social media platforms that's facebook twitter instagram and youtube until next time god bless you